Hello! This video is meant to put you at ease, so you will be ready and know exactly what to expect from your Bravo pH monitoring procedure. What is Bravo pH monitoring? It is a sophisticated system that measures the acid exposure in your esophagus over two days. This allows your doctor to see if your symptoms are caused by gastroesophageal reflux disease, or GERD for short. To prepare for the procedure and get the most accurate results, it is best if you stop your reflux medications for two weeks prior to the test. During this time, you may feel more uncomfortable than usual due to your reflux symptoms. You can take Tums or Rolaids to help with your symptoms as these do not interfere with the test. The 15-minute procedure takes place in the endoscopy suite. You will be lightly sedated to make you more comfortable and your doctor will place a very small capsule into your esophagus. It is only about the size of a pencil eraser. The capsule is placed endoscopically and attached to the side of the esophagus by a small pin that usually falls off in five to seven days. After the capsule is placed, the monitoring period immediately begins. For two days, the capsule measures pH levels and sends wireless signals to a recording device that you will wear on your waistband. During this time, it is crucial that you continue your regular daily activities and eat as you normally would. Stick to your routine regarding work and exercise. We would like you to eat three meals, a couple of snacks, and at least one fatty meal each day. And if you drink alcohol, have a glass of beer or wine during the period. You will be recording your daily activities for 48 hours following the procedure. You will do so with a combination of two simple methods. One, your patient diary, and two, your recording device. This diary is for recording your eating, sleeping, and any episodes of acid reflux symptoms. At the beginning of a meal or snack, record the start and stop time of the meal. When you lie down, write the start and stop time of your rest period. If you feel any reflux symptoms, write the time and type of symptom. Record in the diary as regularly and as accurately as you can. Remember, you should try and maintain your normal daily activities and eating habits during this time. In addition to the diary, use the receiver to record your eating habits, symptoms, and rest periods. Wear the recording device on your waistband as you go about your day. The device is very easy to use. Press the meal button once at the start of a meal. A green light will appear. At the end of your meal, press it again and the light will disappear. Here's how to record your symptoms. If you have any chest pain, press the triangle symbol once. If you experience any regurgitation, press the circle symbol once. And if you feel any heartburn, press the square symbol once. If your symptoms are different, we can reassign the buttons to match your specific needs. Lastly, keep track of when you lie down. Press the bed button at the beginning and end of your rest period. Make sure to lie flat when you rest or sleep. Remove any wedges from underneath you. The recorder must stay no more than three feet away at all times, about arm's length. If the recorder is too far away, it will beep for 30 seconds and show an icon saying C1. If this happens, place it next to your chest for 30 seconds and recording should resume. Please note that the recorder is not waterproof. Place the recorder on a stable surface right outside the shower. That's it! The acid levels recorded by the capsule will be matched with your diary entries. This will lead to a more accurate diagnosis for you. While recording eating and sleeping habits may seem silly, the data is very helpful. Other things to know. The capsule will fall off into your digestive tract and will be eliminated from your body without you even noticing in five to seven days. Rarely, patients will have chest pain or trouble swallowing due to the chip. This will resolve when the chip falls off. Since the device has metal, please avoid strong magnetic fields like MRIs for 30 days after the procedure. We ask that you return the recorder and diary to your doctor after two days. Please make a follow-up appointment with your doctor to review the results of the test. Feel free to contact your doctor anytime with questions. We hope you've enjoyed this video and feel more at ease about your Bravo pH monitoring. Have a great day.